Welcome to our channel, today, we're going to summarize, The Canterbury Tales chapters 14 through 26 by Geoffrey Chaucer and Percy McKay. Chapter 14, The Physician's Tale, The Physician's Tale is a moralistic narrative that warns against the consequences of greed and hubris. It tells the story of a noble knight named Virginius, his virtuous daughter Virginia, and a corrupt judge named Apius. The judge becomes infatuated with Virginia and attempts to seize her by falsely claiming that she is a slave. Virginius, unwilling to let his daughter suffer, makes a devastating choice to protect her honor. The tale explores themes of justice, sacrifice, and the abuse of power. It serves as a critique of the corrupt legal system and the importance of upholding moral values. Chapter 15, The Pardoner's Tale the Pardoner's Tale is a moral allegory that focuses on the destructive nature of greed and the consequences of moral corruption. The tale revolves around three young men who set out to find and kill death. Along their journey, they encounter an old man who tells them that death can be found under a specific tree. However, instead of death, they find a treasure, which ultimately leads to their downfall. The Pardoner's Tale explores themes of avarice, deception, and the transient nature of worldly possessions. It serves as a critique of the partner's own hypocrisy and the dangers of materialism and moral decay. Chapter 16, The Shipman's Tale The Shipman's Tale is a humorous and irreverent story that centers around a cunning wife named Dame Eglantine. She engages in an extramarital affair with a monk, while her clueless husband, John, remains oblivious. The tale is filled with comedic mishaps, pranks, and infidelity. It satirizes the hypocrisy and moral laxity of the clergy and challenges societal expectations of fidelity in marriage. Chapter 17, The Prioress's Tale The Prioress's Tale is a religious narrative that tells the story of a young boy who is murdered by Jews for singing a hymn in praise of the Virgin Mary. The tale presents an anti-Semitic portrayal of Jews, depicting them as bloodthirsty and cruel. It emphasizes the boy's innocence and martyrdom exalting Christian devotion and condemning those who persecute the faithful. The Prioress's tale reflects the religious prejudices and tensions of the time in which Chaucer wrote. Chapter 18, Chaucer's Tale of Sir Topas Chaucer's Tale of Sir Topas is a playful and satirical narrative that parodies the traditional romance genre. It tells the story of a knight named Sir Topas who embarks on a quest to win the love of a beautiful lady. However, the tale is cut short, leaving the reader with only a fragment. The tale of Sir Topas mocks the conventions and formulaic nature of medieval romances and serves as a humorous interlude in the Canterbury Tales. Chapter 19, The Tale of Malibi The Tale of Malibi is a moral and didactic narrative that centers around a man named Malibi who seeks revenge on his enemies. However, his wife, Prudence, advises him to choose a path of forgiveness and reconciliation instead. The tale explores themes of wisdom, prudence, and the consequences of rash actions. It emphasizes the importance of temperance and the value of peace and harmony in human relationships. Chapter 20, The Monk's Tale The Monk's Tale is a series of tragic vignettes that recount the downfall of various historical figures. These stories include famous individuals such as Julius Caesar, Samson, and King Henry II of England. The tales serve as cautionary examples of pride, ambition, and the transitory nature of worldly power and glory. The Monk's Tale provides a somber reflection on the inevitability of downfall and the fleeting nature of human achievements. It underscores the theme of the impermanence of earthly glory and serves as a reminder of the ultimate insignificance of worldly pursuits. Chapter 21, The Nun's Priest's Tale The Nun's Priest's Tale is a lively and humorous story that centers around a rooster named Chanticleer and a cunning fox named Renard. Chanticleer becomes convinced by the fox's flattery and is almost captured but manages to outsmart his predator in the end. The tale explores themes of flattery, deception, and the importance of vigilance. It offers a moral lesson on the dangers of pride and the need to remain cautious even in times of apparent victory. Chapter 22, The Second Nun's Tale The Second Nun's Tale is a hagiographic narrative that focuses on the life and martyrdom of Saint Cecilia. The tale presents Cecilia as a paragon of faith, purity, and devotion to God. It recounts her steadfastness in the face of persecution and her unwavering commitment to her Christian beliefs. The second nun's tale explores themes of faith, martyrdom, and the triumph of divine grace over earthly trials. It serves as an example of saintly virtue and offers inspiration for steadfast devotion. Chapter 23, The Canon's Yeoman's Tale 
The canon's yeoman's tale is a tale of alchemy and deception. It follows a canon and his yeoman who claim to possess the secret to transforming base metals into gold. However, as the yeoman reveals, their knowledge and practices are fraudulent and ultimately lead to ruin. The tale serves as a cautionary warning against the pursuit of false knowledge and the dangers of deception and dishonesty. Chapter 24, The Mansible's Tale The Mansible's Tale is a fable that tells the story of a crow who is deceived by a group of birds and loses a piece of cheese he had obtained. The tale explores themes of greed, treachery, and the consequences of foolishness. It offers a moral lesson on the dangers of succumbing to flattery and the importance of discernment. Chapter 25, The Parson's Tale The Parson's Tale is a lengthy and didactic sermon that serves as a moral and spiritual guide for the pilgrims. It covers a wide range of topics, including the seven deadly sins, penance, and the pursuit of virtue. The Parson's Tale provides a comprehensive examination of moral and religious principles, emphasizing the importance of repentance, humility, and living a virtuous life. Chapter 26, The Retraction The Retraction is a brief concluding chapter in which Chaucer, as the narrator, reflects on the shortcomings of his previous works and expresses remorse for any offense or misrepresentation they may have caused. He asks for forgiveness and retracts his previous writings, emphasizing his intention to focus on producing religious and moral literature. The Canterbury Tales as a whole showcases a diverse collection of tales that encompass a wide range of genres, themes, and moral lessons. It reflects the complexities of medieval society and offers insights into human nature, social dynamics, and the moral choices individuals make. Through its vivid characters and captivating narratives, The Canterbury Tales remains a timeless masterpiece that continues to entertain, provoke thought, and provide commentary on the human condition. Thanks for watching. To read the full version of the book, click on the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for similar content.